Hey guys, Stock Zombie here from Sickly Drip HD, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add samples into your audio tool track. So, first thing you want to do is open up audio tool and select empty, start from scratch. And here, well, this stuff will appear automatically. Just keep it. But the main thing to add uh, samples is an audio track. So you're going to want to drag a few of those in, and you can hit show me or whatever, but the, a timeline will pop up here, and this will have the audio tracks in it. So this is the first audio track that you just dragged in, and you can uh, go place samples in that. I usually like to put uh, 6 to 9 in, but it's up to you how much you want to put in. So now what you want to do is go to this uh, waveform up here, which is the samples button. And these two different things mean, uh, well this one means a loop. So let me just show you a uh, loop. Dubstep Pro drums. These are pretty good drums. Okay, so a loop is you can you can drag it longer. You can drag everything longer, I'm pretty sure. But a loop plays it smoothly when you drag it longer as well. Like listen to where this transition is right here between the different parts of it. See how smooth that was? It was just like it just kept running. So that's what that's what a loop is. But you can also hit one shot, which is just like use it once, but you can like keep dragging them in, of course. And then there's different things. I'm just gonna look up dubstep in here because not everything is dubstep. Okay, so you can hit the thing on the side here to listen to them, as well as you can do that in loops. So. That sounds cool. So, just drag that in. And you can drag it longer, but it doesn't work that well. That's why sometimes we use loops, mostly for drums. So, yeah. Then, there's different uh, parts in here, because different audio tracks. And uh, let's just drag this in here. And uh, this in there. And then I'll drag a loop in. Dubstep drums. Make that a bit longer. And uh, notice these uh, white lines down here. Those are for... Uh, the starts of a different track, well not a different track, but like a different one of these, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's just play that. I know I'm not, I'm not trying to make it good or anything, but now um, up here is the volume of the track, so you can turn it up and down for different ones, so now listen to it. Game higher. And yeah, that's a really useful tool to be able to put samples in. Because sometimes you're too lazy or you just like can't make it. So you want to use uh, different samples. And you can just drag them in here. And yeah, that's how you use samples in Audio Tool, guys. So I hope you liked the video. And like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.